Time for some five-star predictions. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today's episode is October. It is going to be five-star horror predictions. Um, I'm going to try and get to these six books by the end of the year. Um, I will do my best. We'll have the six linked down below if you want to check them out. Um, but this is the horror edition. I'll probably do another type of edition in November. Probably thriller. But yeah, these are all varying authors. Some repeat authors I've read in the past. And they're basically books that I believe are going to be five stars. I did a video like this maybe like two, three years ago. I don't believe I have any repeats in here because I shouldn't. Um, but yeah, otherwise don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the books. Alright, the first two I'm going to talk with each other. Um, because they're both authors that I thoroughly enjoy. And usually when I read their books I go into it with the mindset of it's going to be a five star. And that is From Below by Darcy Coates and Dark Across the Bay by Anya Alborn. So these two, in terms of like a horror author, besides Stephen King, I would say these are probably top two within, I don't know, I mean they're really good authors for me. I've enjoyed pretty much everything I've read by them. Um... The point of From Below is, I'll read the little blurb in the back. No light, no air, no escape. Hundreds of feet beneath the ocean surface, a graveyard waits. And so she's like notorious, Darcy Coates is notorious for like haunted house, possession stuff, like haunted things and like all over like chilly, spooky stuff. And... I like I wanted to read Parasite, which is the opposite of underwater. It's in space. Um, and I believe I used that before, so I'm not using it in this one. But From Below is a new release, and I really think that this has got potential to be a really good book. Um, I just need to read it. And then Dark Across the Bay. Um, this one says, in the vein of John McDonald's Cape Fear, Auburn takes the classic stalker tale and updates it for the modern era. So, like I said, most of the stuff I've read by Anya Auburn has been really solid stuff. Whether it's a four star, a five star, I've had one or two where it's a three star. Um, but I believe this is probably going to be a really solid book. Uh, this was, I think, her most recent release. Um, also, that cover looks really, really cool. Again, don't know a whole lot lot about these two books um, besides what I just said, but um, these are two really good authors for me, so normally I always think it's going to be a five star. So there you have Dark Across the Bay by Anya Alborn and From Below by Darcy Coates. All right, next up is another author that I've read before. I've only read one of his books, and it was called Hex, um, and this one is Echo by Thomas Old Huvelt. So, Hex, I really enjoyed. I gave it five stars. It was a really eerie book about, like, this witch in this town and everything like that. It was a really good book. And then he wrote Echo, and the blurbs in here, Nature is calling, but they shouldn't have answered. That sounds, like, eerie. And on the bottom here it says, um, from the international best-selling sensation, da da da, da comes a thrilling descent into madness and obsession as one man confronts nature and something even more ancient and evil answers back. Like, also, that cover just looks incredibly sick. Like, it's, I, I'm just, I don't know. I've only read one Thomas Old Hovelt, and it was a really good book, so I've got high expectations for the second one I'm going to read. That's why I'm predicting it's going to be a five-star, because he's one for one so far, so math would say should be a pretty high chance. So, but yeah, um, other than that, I don't know a whole lot more about this book. I didn't know almost anything about Hex when I went into it, so I really enjoyed that thought process, and I'm going to try and go for the same thing with this one. Um, just not know a whole lot going into it besides I, I actually don't know if what people have actually said about this book honestly um i don't know if danielle's heard anything or what but 
I, I mean, Hex is a hidden gem book for me. I feel like a lot of people know about it now. But, like, this one, haven't really heard a lot of people talk about. So, if you have read this book, let me know your thoughts in the comments. No spoilers. Um, but yeah, there you have Echo by Thomas Old Huvel. All right. The most recent release that I have that I think is going to be a five star is Curse of the Reaper by Brian McCauley. So, this literally just came out like a week or two ago, two, three weeks ago. Like, it just came out. I'm predicting a five star with this book because there's a certain reference in the, um, I was about to say the blog, in the, uh, the little thing up here on the top. Blurb. I, the blurb, yeah. I was about to say blog. Scream meets The Shining in this page-turning horror tale about an aging actor haunted by the slasher movie villain he brought to life. Anything that references King and or, in this case, The Shining, I'm going to have some high expectations. Um, it's, it sounds really good. It's got, you know, a... Just the factor of it referencing The Shining in the blurb is, like, eye-catching. Because that is an iconic book, and that is, like, if you're going to compare something to something that big, like, it's got to be good. And by what I've been hearing, a lot of people are really enjoying this book. It's gotten a lot of good reviews, um, a lot of decent high ratings and stuff like that. So, I'm really hoping that I can enjoy this as well. Also, this cover looks really cool so I don't know I'm hoping it's a five star again like I said they're comparing it to a shining and scream which is a really good horror movie so two and two is seven so there you have curse of the reaper by Brian McCauley all right next up is the Stephen King pick I have for this one I I don't know anytime I get King I just automatically just presume it's gonna be a five star and so it's like uh, I don't know. This one I'm picking is one that a lot of you guys have said I'm going to enjoy. Um, it's not 11-22-63, so don't think that you're about to be seeing that book. Because I think that was in last one's prediction. That's like always a prediction it's going to be a five stars. Because everybody loves that book. But in this one, I'm picking The Dark Half. So, some of you might not know this. I started this book probably two years ago. Got about 70, 80 pages in, and then I stopped reading it, and I started reading something else. I don't remember what I started reading instead, um, but I did start this, and then I just stopped. And I have no idea why. I just, I really have no clue why. Um, my understanding with this is this is um, an author who had a twin brother, and the twin brother died, I guess, but he's not, like, actually dead. Or something like that. It's like an evil twin kind of story. Um, but I also have heard that this is like the book that kills Bachman in a sense. Because that's the other name that Stephen King used to write other books was Bachman. And this is like like a hidden message like, hey, I'm killing off Bachman. Or something like that. Um, but a lot of people really like this book. And besides 1122, a lot of you guys said that this is... A really good book and that I would probably really enjoy it so I'm gonna hold you to it and I hope that I do I'm gonna predict it's gonna be a five-star bold predict prediction but whatever um, this is also the next I don't know if it's probably gonna be the next book I do read I just read I just finished it as you guys saw in the last video I'm just like I feel like I'm going to hit a slump, and I don't know. But I feel like what's going to get me out of what I'm predicting to be a slump is a Stephen King book. So this will probably be the next book I read. Um, might take a couple days off from reading, but I'll probably not. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm predicting that this will be a five-star because a lot of you guys think it's really good, and it is a Stephen King book. So there you have The Dark Half by Stephen King. All right. The last book I'm going to talk about is what I'm going to call the wild card pick. Um, where it has gotten lots of mixed reviews, but a lot of you guys say I'm going to like it. And that is The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. So, a lot, I probably was going to read this, I think it was when it came out. Has it been a year already? 
My goodness. Yeah, I think I was going to read this last October, and that just never happened, um, along with a lot of other books. But a lot of you guys say that I'm going to enjoy this book, and just like with The Dark Half, I will hold you guys to it. I'm going to read it, see what happens, because a lot of you guys say it's really good, but then there's some of you that say that it's not worth the hype. So that's why I'm deeming this the wild card pick, because... I can see it going down 50-50. I can either not like it like some of you, or I can really enjoy it like the other half of you. So, I don't know. But I'm going to try and read this again. I'm going to try and read the six of these by the end of the year. But I don't know. Um, but yes, um, I don't really know a whole lot about this. Uh, the little blurb in the back says, Something terrible is buried in the forest at the end of Needless Street. And that is the only blurb that I can say. So, I mean, it doesn't sound bad. I mean, I hear of Needless Street. I immediately am just thinking of Kneebolt Street because I just finished it. So my mind is still in dairy right now. Um, but I do want to read this. And I hope I do enjoy it. I Oh, there actually is one at the bottom. Are you prepared to find out what it is? Oh, I guess it's finishing the first sentence. All right, yeah. So there you have... The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. Alright, so those are my horror five-star predictions for the rest of the year and or if when I get to them. Um, again, I'll probably be doing a thriller one in November, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, like I said, we'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out. Also down below we got the podcast, Danielle's channel, Pango Books, all that fun stuff down below. Um, and we will... Do our best to have them linked down there, too. Um, but, yeah, let me know some five-star predictions that you have. Let me know in the comments down below. Obviously, make sure they're horror. And, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in tomorrow's episode of Zocktober. Later. Mm -hmm.